All right, guys, I just wanted to share with you the uh, latest adventures in software-defined radio here at Solder Smoke headquarters. This, of course, is my Drake 2B. Added since 1973. I think it's a keeper. I do all kinds of uh, kind of technological things with it that uh, weren't even dreamed of at the time that it was built in the early 1960s. The latest adventure involves software-defined radio. Now this is the quintessentially hardware-defined radio, but I have been fooling around with a little RTL SDR dongle, which is a little USB stick, about this big, that has in it analog to digital converter technology that allows it to sample RF, send it to the computer where it is processed, filtered, etc. So all of the uh, most of the work of the radio is taking place inside the computer. Now one of the, th the cool things you can do with this in addition to hooking the dongle up to an antenna and pulling in RF directly you could tap the IF, the intermediate frequency on your receiver. The Drake 2B has an intermediate frequency at 455 kilohertz. It later has a, another one at 50 kilohertz but um, I wanted to tap into the 455 KC uh, IF. That allows you to listen to the, the signal on the receiver and display it on the computer at the same time. Also listen to it on the computer if you'd like. So it's really kind of interesting. This is the uh, circuit that I use as an interface. It's a simple source follower. That little transistor you see there is an MPF 102 FET. And the only thing this circuit really does is it prevents, presents a high impedance to the IF port on the Drake 2B and then takes the signal and sends it to the dongle which then digitizes it, sends it into the computer and then HDSDR software in the computer makes it all happen. But let me just give you a little demonstration here. Again I use the, um, to get to the IF and this is another kind of interesting technological twist. Um, when Drake designed the 2B, one of the best ways to narrow the bandwidth was to use something known as a Q multiplier, which added basically a regenerative stage to the receiver. I use the same port to tap out the IF. I take the IF out at 455KC, it comes into here, gets uh, basically just impedance matched because you don't want to present a low impedance to the to the IF, you'll, you'll knock down the signal in the receiver and then it sends it on to the dongle where it's digitized and it goes into the computer. But let me show you how it works. I'll be right back, Mia. Okay. I'm now just listening on the 2B. I'm going to try to get a stronger signal. SSTV, I think. Now I'm going to aim over at the um, over at the computer. Now you're listening through the computer. Good, man. Anybody else have a, as good as a copy and run that I have? He's in West Virginia. 
You can see us display the signal here. Back again, and uh, I can hear him, but he's pretty light. You can hear it's coming through here also. Safe. Down here is displaying the audio. That's confirmed, and I do have the superior antenna. Is that correct? No. Oh, yeah. Well, how come you didn't hear him, Mister? I hear him. I'm busy. Doing you get a good sense of how wide the signals are too. <laughs> this is 40 meters. Ron, you see what I'm saying? You know, you know, no, nobody admits the admits until they admit. And you can see we're at 455 KC right here. So we're just looking at one signal. Anyway, kind of fun. Have the superior antenna. Yeah.